Hi there! My name is Hutch and I make videos and put them on the internet and welcome to Cooking with Hutch. And Gassy. Today we're going to be cooking with Blue Apron. What's Blue Apron, Max? I'm glad you mentioned it. Blue Apron is a subscription service where they send you the ingredients for the meals with easy instructions on how to cook it. So you learn and you get to eat delicious food. Check the link in the description below if you want a discount off your first order. Just a quick little disclaimer, this is a paid advertisement, but I've been using, uh, enthusiastically using this service for about like nine months now. So take that for what you will. Today we're going to be cooking some spicy ponzu glazed catfish. And usually start with the prep work. So this recipe only calls for two cloves of garlic, but I like to add an extra one, so we're gonna use three. You're just gonna um, peel and mince the garlic to start off. Next thing you're gonna do is roughly chop some peanuts. That's it. Next up, you're gonna be working with my favorite ingredient to cook with these days, which is ginger. All you're gonna do is uh, peel and mince the ginger. Okay, now you have your zucchini. All you're gonna do is cut these into half inch rounds. We've now worked our way to the scallions. You're gonna separate the white bottoms from the green top part. Then you're just gonna thinly slice these into uh, little tiny little rounds, that's it. After that, we're gonna combine the ponzu sauce, the white bottoms with the scallions, half of the sesame oil, one tablespoon of water, and as much of the sambal, sambal olek as you like. How do I say that? I don't know, it's the spicy red stuff. Rice. Now you're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil to a medium sized pot on medium high. While you're warming that up, why don't you take a look at your recipe just to make sure you're doing everything right. This is without a doubt my favorite part of cooking. The smell that comes when you first put garlic on a hot stove it is delicious. But be careful, when you're warming up the garlic, you only want to do it for like literally 30, 30 seconds to a minute, otherwise it's gonna taste bitter and burnt and disgusting. After that, you're gonna add one and a half cups of water. You're gonna add your rice. You're gonna bring it to a boil. You're gonna reduce the heat to low. Then you're gonna cover it and let it sit for 12 to 14 minutes. Peanuts. Heat up one tablespoon of olive oil until it's nice and warm and then add your chopped peanuts. I obviously added way too much oil, so. Uh, if you're looking for what it looks like to add too much, there it is. Unfortunately, at this part, uh, I already missed a step. I forgot to add the ginger to these peanuts, and you're gonna you're gonna roast them for about like one to two minutes. I just did the ginger later on. You'll see that. After that, you're gonna transfer your roasted peanuts to a paper towel-lined plate. That's just to make sure to soak up uh, all the excess uh, oil. Zucchini. For zucchini, you're gonna heat up two tablespoons of olive oil on medium high until hot. You're gonna add the zucchini, wait until it's golden or browned on one side, then flip it. Then you're gonna add the rest of the sesame seed oil. Also, you're gonna add uh, the sesame seeds, which I forgot to do in this step as well. Because I'm a genius. Catfish. This part's important, so you don't wanna skip it because uh, you wanna let your catfish sit out for like 20, 30 minutes. Let it get to about room temperature before you even start cooking it. And before you even start cooking it also, you want to pat them down with paper towels to make sure they're nice and dry before you throw them on the stove. Also season them with salt and pepper. All right, you're in the home stretch now, boys. This is the last part here. You're going to heat two tablespoons of olive oil on medium high until hot. And you're going to add your catfish. You're going to cook four to six minutes on one side. You're going to flip it. You're going to add the glaze. You're going to uh, every once in a while uh, spoon the glaze over the catfish to make sure it gets all the flavor. You're going to plate your dish and then you're done after you finish the ginger that you forgot to do earlier. Finished! Now let's hear what the girls think. It's super good. I like the flavor. Um, is it, it tastes, kind of tastes like soy sauce a bit, is it? I don't know if it's soy sauce, it's called something else. Ponzu okay. sauce. Ponzu mm. sauce, yeah. It's super good. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> Thanks again for coming out, guys. Thanks again to Max for uh, holding the camera for me and doing all the prep work. If you guys, once again, if you guys want to sign up for this service, there's going to be a link in the description of this video that you can use to get a discount. So check it out. All right, peace out. Today we're going to be cooking with Blue Apron. What's Blue Apron, huh? I'm glad you asked, Max. Hold on, I cut you off. <laughs> That's fine. I thought that was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Max! <laughs> Blue Apron is a subscription service that you can use where they'll send you fresh ingredients for a price. Blue Apron is a subscription service that you can use where they'll send you fresh ingredients. I almost said free. <laughs> they'll send you free. It's not, it's not free, for the record. <laughs> 